Hello everyone, great to see you again. So it's the 11th of January 2021 and this is on Monday. So the new week started and looks like the market is retracing backwards. I was looking for some trading edges today because I was seeing trending markets uh, last weekend as I said yesterday on the weekly forecast but unfortunately the market is going backwards so that means I think it's a good timing to talk about the mid time frame confirmation right mid time frame confirmation so every time I take trace I look at the daily chart or the 4 hour chart on forex pairs and once I confirm the trend on these on one of these time frames then I look at the either 1 hour or 30 to confirm this uptrend downtrend so that I don't get these retracements. So um, today is Monday, so every Monday I run the Forex Tester 4 and present um, my strategies one by one. And today's topic is about the mid time frame confirmation. So I think it's a great timing, so I hope you learned something new on this today's live stream. And if you're new to my channel, my name is K, like a little K, K E I. My name is K, and I'm a, I am a forex full-time um, Japanese trader here in uh, Tokyo, Japan. And in my YouTube channel, I talk about the Ichimoku strategies, and also my own strategies called KTS, which actually um, includes multiple time frames and where to buy, where to sell on lower time frames and also the risk management and psychological management. So the main purpose of mine after I become a full-time trader is to become a non-losing trader as it states here. So I hope you get the idea of how to become a non-losing trader so that um, you can be with a break-even or win trader. So let's get started right now. So just a quick disclaimer this information is basically based on my own understanding, knowledge, and experience. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. So here is the Forex Tester 4 and I use the Mac and you cannot use you cannot use the Forex Tester 4 on Mac. You have to install the Windows over Mac. I use the, um, the software called Parallels. And I use I run the Windows over the Mac, so you see Windows uh, uh, name over here on the top. So I run the Windows over the Mac, and that's how I run the Forex Tester 4. But um, this tool is actually very really helpful. I have been using this Forex, te Forex Tester for the last five years, and it's been my great great tool to save my time to backtest and also forward test my strategies. So it's my favorite tool and every Mondays I run the Forex Tester 4 because because the market is quiet anyways on Mondays. So first, in the first part of this live stream, I will run the Forex Tester 4 and present how I see these mid time frame confirmations. And then the later part, uh, we're gonna look at some real charts and uh, I will explain how you can apply on this real chart moving market. So, oh, by the way, um, I just checked the Forex Tesla 4 and there is a winter sale. And this is actually like almost 50% discount. And also, you have the coupon code of mine. So, if you click the link below the description, if you're interested in Forex Tesla 4 and click on this Buy Forex Tester. And if you go to this uh, purchase page, oh, this is in Japanese, so let me switch to English and also currency as uh, USD. Hold on, just let me show you real quick how you can, um, you know, type this um, coupon code. Also, here is USD. Yeah, so and if you if you feel all these informations and you click on this one, I have a coupon code, you click on this one and you put uh, KEI, all capital, KEI 5. 
and this is already a uh, 50% discount almost on this uh, winter sale and on top of on top of this if you enter this one and and if you if I just click the enter button then this price will change so let me hit the enter now and then it's gonna change uh, you have a 5% discount for this k5 so make sure before you purchase this uh, Forex Tesla 4, make sure you type this KEI5 over here. Hold on, let me get this um, drawing tool. There you go. KEI5 on, on this coupon code, and you get this 5% discount at any time on top of this sales. So I think this is important to know whenever you want to purchase the forex tester so this is just for your information all right so let me come back to the forex tester 4 and run it and let me present how i confirm this trendy market by lower i mean mid time frame is one hour chart in this example and after i run this forex tester 4 and i will come back to your comments so let me be on the topic first so first of all whenever i capture the trending market i see the kumo and kijunsen angles so in this case the kumo is flat well actually technically i think right now this uh, kumo single span b is slightly up and single span a is slightly up and kijunsen i think is also slightly moving up this way so in this case um, this is uptrending on the daily chart right so this is a daily chart and if I see Kumo Senko Span either A or B and Kijun Sen are up then I confirm this is uptrending so I look at the lower time frames either 1 hour or 30 and see if I can also see the uptrending on these time frames so now we see daily chart is slightly moving up so let me go to the one hour and see if one hour chart is also moving up or not. So here is the one hour chart. And what you can see right now is this is ranging. It's flat because you see in this one hour chart. So this is now H1. In this H1, the Kumo is flat and the Kijun Sen is flat. So basically this is ranging market. Right, there is no direction in the market so that means from here the market might go up and it might go down and we don't know which way it's going so in this case i wait for the one hour a kumo either a single span b or a to be moving up and also kijun sen to go up and i look for the buy chance in lower time frames which are 5 or 15 minute time frame so the daily chart is now uptrending as we saw earlier so I expect the market overall goes upwards from here this way however because this one hour is flat ranging the market might go backwards the market might break the Kumo downwards and if it happens and if I take a buy right now I have stop loss right I get stopped out and that's why I don't want to take a buy right now I want to confirm until the uptrend is also visible in this one hour chart too so let me come back to daily chart and let me run the tester by the daily chart and uh, make sure the daily chart Kumo and Kijun Sen are uptrending for sure so let me move the candlestick one by one until we see the Kumo and Kijun Sen up uh, more with more angle so let me just move one by one right now okay so now the market goes downwards and the Kumo went up went flat and Kijun Sen is flat now so there is no trend so let me run it a little bit more okay so now I see the potential uptrend we see the Kumo itself is flat I mean Senko Span B flat, but the Senko Span A is the tip of the Senko Span A is moving up. And also Kijun Sen is moving up. 
So I expect the market goes up from here in this condition. So this is when I look at the one hour, right? This is when I look at the one hour and see if one hour chart is also trending up. And as you can see here, one hour is trending down, right? It's going down, broke the Kumo downwards, and this is almost breaking the previous support downwards over here. So in this case, in one hour, it's more of the downtrending. On this uh, previous couple of candles, it's downtrending. So I don't look for buy. I, I wait until the price comes above the Kumo, and Kumo should twist bullish, and the Tenkan Sen should come up bars above the Kumo, and then I look for the buy chance afterwards. Until then, I wait. And once again, I wait this condition because the daily chart is moving up, so I expect one hour chart also goes upwards. So let's see what happens to the daily chart afterwards. Let's see if the next candlestick on the daily chart will become bullish or bearish. So let me just move one more. Okay, now it's going it's going down. And then the next one. Okay, so right now this is the market is actually in between the Kijun Sen and the Kumo right now. And when the market is in between the Kijun Sen and the Kumo, I won't look for buy chance. Although the Senko Span A is up and the Kijun Sen is up, I won't look for buy. I wait until the market comes above the Kijun Sen and look for the buy chance. I mean, go to the mid time frame. So in this case, on the daily chart, on this daily chart, um, let me run it until the market comes above the Kijun Sen. Okay, so now it's flat, still under the Kijun Sen, so not the best timing to look for buy. The market is almost reaching to the Kijun Sen, but not exactly breaking upwards, so I just wait until um, it goes up. Still resisted by the Kijun Sen, so not really a great chance to buy. Okay, so now there's a huge spi spike up. Right? There's a huge spike up, and then the market broke all the way, and Kijun Sen and the market uh, broke the previous high upwards this way. And we see Kumo up, and also the Kijun Sen upwards this way. And this is when I look for the buy chance in the mid time frame. So let me come back to the one hour chart once more, once again. And this is what we see here. So now if we see this one hour chart, so now we're switching to the one hour, right? Daily chart was moving up, right? Kumo, Hijun Sen were up on the daily chart, but in this one hour, it's flat. Right, you see Kumo Senko Span B flat, Senko Span A is slightly moving up, but the Kijun Sen is flat. Right, so in this case, I wait until the Kijun Sen goes up and look for the buy chance. And this is the confirmation. This is what I mean by the confirmation. So although the daily chart, um, let me switch it to the daily chart again. So although I see the daily chart is moving up, I won't place a buy. I won't jump in in this condition. I always make sure to confirm this uptrend in the mid time frames, either one hour chart or 30 minute chart, and enter into the market. So, and you can see um, my uh, PDF of the KTS. Hold on, I think um, it's actually available for anyone. So in case you haven't downloaded yet, you can do so by clicking the link on the description below. But um, so basically this is what I do. Every time I take trace, this is what I do. Um, so in this case, in this Forex tester example, we see the daily chart is uptrending and we go down to the mid time frames. And now we are on the one hour chart on this demonstration. and. One hour chart is currently flat. As we see here earlier, um, one hour. Oops, hold on. Let me switch it to one hour right now. 
Yeah, and one hour chart is flat Kijun Sen. See, so one hour it's flat. So in this case, I won't look for the buy chains. I wait until the one hour goes upwards and go down to the 15 or 5 and look for the buy chains. So in this case, let me run the tester until one hour chart goes upwards. Okay, so once again, here is one hour chart and I will move the candles one by one based on this one hour chart and until the Kijun Sen goes up. So let me run it one by one right now. So here we see the Kijun Sen went upwards. Right, um, hold on, let's see. First of all, the Kumo, Senkospan BA, both uptrending, and also Kijun Sen is also uptrending. And in, the, in addition to this, the um, Tenkan Sen is above the Kijun Sen, and Chikospan is all the way above the candles. So this is another confirmation for this great uptrending. And just in case, we come back to daily chart one more time, and make sure the daily chart is uptrending. And we see daily chart is uptrending. We see the Senko Span B up and also the Kijun Sen is moving up. So this is a great timing to look for buy in lower time frames in this 5 or 15. So in this condition, the daily chart is moving up and one hour chart is going up. And that's when I look, look for the buying edge in 5 or 15 minute time frame. And every time I take trades, I confirm these trending pairs, trending market by these multiple time frame confirmations by Ichimoku. And then um, you don't get stop loss with this retracement along the way. So once again, let me come back to the one hour. And in lower time frames, you see, let's say you find this buying edge and let's say you place a buy over here and the stop loss is going to be below the previous low which is going to be somewhere over here the stop loss and I keep holding this buy until the market goes up and until the daily chart goes flat I keep holding this buy so this is what I do every time I take trades I confirm the higher time frame trend by the mid time frames and then take trades on these lower time frames. So in one hour it's going up, so let's see how it goes afterwards. If it goes backwards, then simply I get uh, I get the stop loss. And if, if the market goes upwards, then I, I place the break even and try the profit in the lower time frames. So afterwards the market goes up breaks higher this way so I was placing the buy over here when the Kijun Sen moved up stop loss over here and now the market goes up this way so I keep holding this buy until a daily chart goes flat so okay so now the market goes downwards this way and in this case most likely I get either the stop loss with this at 2% risk or I get the break even line if I can place it. But basically this is how I place, I mean how I confirm this uptrending, upturn market on these mid time frames. So let's come back to the daily chart one more time. A daily chart and now I can see that the daily chart is still uptrending. Right, the daily chart Kumo is uptrending and the Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen are both moving up and the Chikou Span is still moving up. So I still expect the market goes up this way. So until I can confirm this uptrend in the mid time frames, I just wait. So here is um, the, um, the one hour chart again. And on this one hour chart, now we see let me delete these lines. So in this one hour, now we see the Kumo flat, right? Kijun Sen 
uh, single span B flat and single span A's retracing backwards. And then the, um, this uh, Kijun Sen is moving up. So I wait until either single span A goes up or B goes up to look for buy chance. So let me run it based on this one hour until it goes up. So let's see. So, okay, it's now flat. So over here, once again, I see that the Kumo Senkospan BA up and Kijun Sen up in one hour. And on the daily chart, the Kumo up and also the Kijun Sen is up. So this is where I look for the buy chance in lower time frames. So once again, in this condition, the daily chart is uptrending and also one hour chart is uptrending. So I look at either 5 or 15 to look for the buy chance. I mean buying edge. So let's assume that um, I take a buy over here and my stop loss will be below the previous low, which is going to be at this level, the previous low. And I keep holding this buy and let's see if it goes upwards or not. So after I place a buy, I don't care about the Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen and Kumo in one hour chart. I don't really look at it. I only follow the daily chart trend. So as long as the daily chart is trending upwards, I keep holding this buy. Mid time frame is only the confirmation when I enter, but once I Execute the trade, I don't look at the mid time frame. So let me run it by the one hour chart for now. So over here, I'm sure I will place a break even line. And let's see how it goes afterwards. Okay, so the, the market comes backwards now and I get either break even or if I move the stop to the previous low over here, I will get some profit over here. And let's see if the daily chart is flat now. And yes, the daily chart is flat now. We see on the daily chart the single span B flat, A flat, and the Kijun Sen is flat. So when you see these lines to be flat, then you can expect the market comes backwards to the Kijun Sen. So I would say that this is a great timing to exit at the moment. So, so once again, I take the daily chart or the forward chart, right? Either daily or four. I don't take both time frames. I take either daily or the forward chart. And if one of these time frames are trending, let's say in this case daily chart trending, then I go down to either 1 or 30 and look, uh, wait for, wait until um, either time frames are trending. So in this example, I was waiting for the 1 hour chart to be trending up. And once I confirm this one, I go down to the lower time frame and look for the buying or selling chance. So, let's say you find the uptrend on the forward chart, right? Let's say you find the trending market on the forward chart, up or down, and then you go down to either 1 or 30, and let's say you find 30 to be uptrending, then you can go to lower time frame uh, to, to look for the buying edge. I mean, the combination can be with anything. I mean, the daily chart, you can take daily and either 1 or 30, or you can take forward chart and 1 or 30. You can take with any combination, but it should be either daily or 4, and 1 hour chart or the 30 minute chart. So I hope you get this idea of the confirmation in the mid time frame on this today's live streaming. So, with that being said, um, let's look at some of 
the current market and see what's happening right now in the market. So let me close this uh, Forex Tesla 4 and switch it to the trading view. Okay. All right, so here is the trading view and this is the current current market right now. So before um, analyzing some of the trending pairs, let me come back to uh, your comments and let me s briefly say hi to everyone. So thank you for joining everyone on today's live stream too. All right, James, Jack Smith, Tam, and Cyril Mack, Christian Karim, Penzar, thank you for joining. And Guy, good to see you again. Great to see you. Roger and Harad, um, Hardro, thank you for joining too. And Asif, Jagdish, great to see you. And um, Magdalene, thank you for joining. KK, great to see you. And Daniel uh, Philip, great to see you. And thank you for joining on my Ichimoku community. Thank you for joining. So make sure you join the Discord by coming to this uh, Ichimoku um, page, my website, scroll down a little bit and make sure you join the Ichimoku Discord um, from this link. I'm sorry, uh, over here, from this link. Make sure you join the Ichimoku Discord and get all these perks. But once again, thank you for joining Daniel and I will see you on the Discord. All right. And let's see, Jack Smith, Mohammed, Robert, James, great to see you again, Renko, and uh, Hamed, Karin, great to see you, Yasin, Pap, and SV, Yes, Johan, Stavros, Gregory, Yasin, thank you for joining. All right, Golam, great to see you again, thank you for joining everyone, and thank you for saying happy birthday to me, thank you for that, thank you for the words. Yeah, tomorrow is going to be my birthday. So, um, and as announced earlier, uh, there will be a long uh, live stream on public on this one. So tomorrow on the 12th is my birthday. And also, um, this live stream is going to be about the celebrating of our 22k subscribers. So I thought it's a good idea to do it on my birthday. So tomorrow is going to be a long, long live stream. So it's, it starts at that uh, 8 p.m. Japan time. And I'm thinking to do it for about like four hours or five hours on this live stream tomorrow. So tomorrow, usually I upload the video, but there will be no video. But uh, it's going to be the live stream, the long live stream. And you can see the idea of the contents of this live stream tomorrow on the description on this live so um, yeah you can check it and you can expect what i will be talking about on tomorrow's live stream but um, yeah there are lots of things to come so i hope you enjoy tomorrow's live stream too so yeah coming back to the topic right now let me come back to some other comments. Would it be a good to, good to use a second indicator with Ichimoku to better confirm mid time frames? Um, you can only use Ichimoku. Ichimoku by itself is already powerful, so I recommend you to use Ichimoku only, because that's what I do. I only use Ichimoku um, for the higher time frames. And capture trends. All right. Yep. Thank you for the words about happy birthday. Great to see you. Thank you for joining. So, okay. Um, I get another comment. Um, if in a daily time frame, Kumo Kijun Sen angles were up, but Kijun Sen was in the cloud, then should we wait for Kijun Sen to come up above the Kumo? Yes, that's true. Yeah, Kijun Sen should be above the Kumo and start to look for the buy chance. Yeah, that's true. Alright, great to see you. 
Okay, um, why do you use Forex Theta 4 for backtesting? Why not just the Trading View for backtesting? Oh, um, the good thing about Trading View is that you can backtest with the multiple time frames all together. Because um, I can backtest on the Trading View, but it only allows to backtest in one time frame. And that's why I prefer to use the Forex Theta 4. And when it comes to taking trades, Forex Tester 4 also allows me to take trades. You can really place the positions by yourself and you can even put the stop loss and you can even get these uh, stats of your, of your trades. But in trading view, you cannot really virtually uh, take trades. You cannot set stop loss in the back testing. And that's why I prefer the Forex Tester 4 than trading view. I mean, trading view is more beautiful in its graph graphic, but um, yeah, in terms of the operation, I prefer the Forex Tester 4. All right, yeah, great to see you. Thank you for joining, as always. When you decide to use the day or four hour chart, um, I see in some videos uh, you look at both in this video just a daily chart. Um, yeah, so I look at the daily chart or the four hour chart. So let me show you how I look at it. So for example, um, I watch almost these pairs every day, but I do it real quick. I think I only take maybe less than two minutes to screen all these pairs manually. So let me do let me show you how to do it. So I start from the top USCHF and now I see the Kijun Sen is going down. I mean the Kijun Sen is a green one in my chart color setting. So Kijun Sen is going down and Senko Span is going down. So I think that this is downtrending. But in this case the thing is that the price is in between the Kijun Sen and the Kumo here so I won't look for the sell chance. So I skip this one. On the daily chart and in four this is flat ranging right you see kumo flat and kijun sen is flat at the moment and kijun sen is actually in the kumo now so although you might see that this is uptrending i see that this is also the flat because overall if i can zoom out and if i can have the bird's eye view this is ranging so the market might be resisted over here and it goes backwards this way. It's my expectation. So unless the market breaks upwards this way, I don't see this as an uptrend. So, yeah, to make the long story short, on the daily chart, it's um, it's in the middle of the Kijun Sen and the Kumo, so not the downtrend to me. And also in four, this is also flat Kumo flat Kijun Sen. So, not that pair to look for the trace. And for example, um, let's check the AUD USD. Um, AUD USD pair, uh, this is uptrending. I see the Senko Span B flat, but the A is up. And also, the Kijun Sen is moving up. And the market is above the Kijun Sen, and Tenkan Sen above the Kijun Sen, Chikou Span above the candles. So, although we see some retracements for the last three days. I expect the market still goes up this way because I see the Kumo Senko Span A and the Kijun Sen is going up. So as per daily chart, this is uptrending. So I look for the buy chance. And I compare this with 4-hour chart just in case. And if I see 4-hour chart, what we can see here is that this is range. Right, the market retraced backwards, broke the Kijun Sen downwards, and now it's reaching to the Kumo here. But if you see Kumo shape right now, if you see the Kumo shape, it's flat. And also Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen did cross. So it's basically the flat range in market. So I don't take the 4-hour chart in this case because in 4, we don't know which way it's going because it's flat. But in daily chart, we can clearly see that this is still uptrending. So in this daily chart scope, I expect the market goes up continuously this way. 
And so this is example where I take the daily chart and confirm this uptrending on one hour chart. So I look at the one, and of course this is downtrending. Right, it's downtrending. However, as we, saw, as we saw earlier on the daily chart, it's uptrending. So I wait until the market comes above the Kumo Kijun Sen, and the Kumo should twist bullish and Kijun Sen goes up above the Kumo and then look for the buy chance there. Until it happens, I wait. And I don't follow the downtrend on no one hour chart because it might reverse backwards anytime soon because the daily chart still shows uptrending. Um, I mean, I'm, I am a day to swing trader, so I follow the daily chart or the four hour chart and that's why I look for the buy chance in this case. But if you are the scalper to intraday trader, and if you want to take the one hour chart to trace, then I think you can sell right now. And in that case, the stop and target is going to be a little bit less than taking trade on the daily chart, but you can still look for the short chance. And if it goes flat, then you can just exit. But me, I am a day to swing trader, so I prefer to follow the trend market on the daily chart or the forward chart, and that's why I would rather wait for the buy chance. And when the buy chance comes is when the market comes above the Kumo Kijun Sen on this daily chart. I hope you get the idea of this multiple time frame analysis here. And if, right, if the market keeps going down this way, so if the market keeps going down this way, then um, sooner or later, the four hour chart should trend down. Right, if the market keeps going down this way, then the four hour chart, the four hour chart, uh, it's gonna break the Kumo downwards and the Kumo will twist bearish and the Kijun Sen comes below the Kumo and then I look for the sell chance then. So, yeah, basically I follow the daily chart or the forward chart trends. And that's what I wanted to say on this today's live stream. I hope we get this idea now. All right. Yep. Thank you for the words and thank you for the happy birthday. Happy birthday messages. You're welcome. You're welcome. Gold in the daily chart. There is no Tenkan Sen Kijun cross and Chikou taking uh, on price. Daily price below the Kumo. No clear trend seen. Yeah. Looks like the gold is now. Uh, in the range, so let me check the gold right now real quick. Um, I look at the daily chart first, and yes, the daily chart is now flat ranging. We see the Kumo flat, Senko span A retracing backwards, and the Senko span B flat. Hold on, let me zoom in a bit more. Yep, as you can see here, the Kumo Senko Span B flat and Senko Span A is retracing backwards. So although you see Kijun Sen is moving up, you cannot rely on this Kijun Sen uptrend because now the market is retracing backwards as this Senko Span A shows over here. So there's a huge spike uh, for these uh, couple of uh, three or four days. So, but this is why we don't want to take tries because there is no trend on this daily chart. And if you look at the four, in four hour chart, we see this is also the ranging market because the Senko Span B flat, Senko Span A is down, but the Kijun Sen is flat. So I would wait until the Kijun Sen goes down on this four hour chart and look for the sell chance afterwards. Otherwise, I won't do nothing. Uh, 
All right. Hello, Nithis. Thank you for joining. Great to see you. Making sure to cover spread when moving to break even. Yep, especially overnight where spreads can be wide. Exactly, that's true. Yeah. If you want to put the break even, make sure you put the break even uh, about 5 pips or 6 pips above. So that um, you don't get losses with the spread. Yeah, that's important. All right. Hello, Gregory. Thank you for joining. Great to see you. Yeah, sorry, I think I sk skipped a message. Sorry about that. Thank you for joining, Gregory. And Aki, thank you for joining too. Great to see you. Alex, great to see you. And Robert, thank you for joining as well. Okay, gold in 1 hour chart, 15 in selling direction, while daily chart breaking the Kumo. Yeah, the daily chart breaking the Kumo, but this is range to me. In a short term, this is downtrend because the Tenkan Sen is pointing down. Right, Tenkan Sen shows the short term uh, trend direction. And because the Tenkan Sen is going down, let me cancel the candles. And the Tenkan Sen is pointing down. That means this is downtrending in the short term. So you can look for sell in these lower time frames like less than one hour, you can look for sell chance, but as per the mid time frame, Kijun Sen shows uptrending still, and the long term, Senko Span B shows flat. So this is divergence, right? This is divergence, this is the market is going up and down in a short to mid to long term. So in this condition, we better stay away because there is no clear down, uh, clear trend on any of these terms. Very tricky. Yeah, in this case, it's going to be very tricky. I would focus on the trending pairs rather than looking at this kind of market. All right, Haz, thank you for joining. And Aldi, Bella, thank you for the happy birthday messages, everyone. Oh yeah, looks like I answered your question. Yep. <laughs> Can I just trade using one hour time frame only? Um, I don't recommend you to use one hour chart only because you cannot confirm it in the mid time frames. I mean, if you take one hour, um, then you better take either five or fifteen to take trades, and you cannot confirm it in these like mid time frames so the chance for the market reverse backwards will be relatively higher the reason why i take the daily of four and confirm one or 30 is that um so that i have a less risk for the market to go backwards against my um, against my direction so if you want to take one hour chart trend or 30 minute chart trend then i recommend you to take less than 1% one, 1 risk per trade. And if I take daily of 4 and confirm the trend in 1 or 30, then I take 2% two two risk per trade. So, yeah. If you take trades on the lower time frames, the risk management is becoming the key to, to success. Chiko is pointing down in the daily chart, possibly reversal. Yeah, you have to look at the Kumo and Kijun Sen angles, not the Chiko span only. All right, Danish, thank you for the words. Happy birthday, thank you. All right, Ayman, you're welcome. And Powell, thank you for joining. Great to see you again. All right, Jojo, thank you for joining too. Great to see you. Yeah, I mean the gold is quite tricky at this moment. If the market keeps going up, 
which I was expecting, the market goes up and breaks higher this way, then for sure I was looking for buy chance afterwards. But because the market resisted at the previous high, at this uh, 1959 level, and goes downward this way, um, I don't look for buy chance anymore. Because now it's in the range. Many returns of the day, K for device. Oh, that's good to hear. Great to hear that. If scalping a uh, trend from daily chart, 4 hour chart, 1 hour chart, confirmation from 30.15 and trade on 5 or 1 minute sound too busy, I like a daily way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I used to be a scalper, you know, I used to be a scalper and I was only taking trades on this. I was taking 1 hour originally and uh, taking trades by 5, 15 and 1 minute. So I had, I used to have like 6 panels in front of me and monitoring like 30 pairs all the time and I get stops, I get stopped out many times and when I get these trends I just get small pips over time and that was very busy. So yeah and I find myself that it's my, it's not my style. Or, you know, for some people I think it's good because um, if you like to see charts all day long every day and if you're really into it like BNF <laughs> I think that's the way you, sh you should be in. But for me, um, I am more of the relaxed person. I want to uh, think deeply one thing at a time. I want to think about it. So I want to take time to look at the market and when to buy, when to sell. So for me, like a day to swing traders, I think um, it's better to take a daily chart or the four hour chart for the major uh, trend direction. Yeah, but you know, once again, it depends on the uh, trader style. You know, I mean, there are so many traders who are making money by the scalping, so I don't deny these scalpers. But for me, it's not my style, and that's why I came up with the idea of creating such strategies like this. Yes sir, you're welcome. And Blackwater, thank you for joining, great to see you again. Is this good, good to use in stock market, date swing particularly? Yeah, on stock markets or indexes, I recommend you to use the monthly chart and the weekly chart as higher time frames and daily or 4 for confirmations and 1 or 30 to execute trades because stock market indexes um, it tends to trend more it tends to trend more than the forex pairs the forex pairs goes up and down every day almost and that's why I take daily or four but when it comes to different market like stock market indexes or commodities um, I think it's better to take trades on higher time frames if you take trades on these stocks or indexes by 5 or 15, I think these are too low for stocks or indexes, you know, because there are gaps in between and the market looks very choppy. So I think you want to take 1 or 30 for execution and daily or 4 for um, confirmation and weekly or monthly for the, uh, for the trend major trend direction. I agree with the time frame categories I am use, uh, using actually something similar. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, but the point is to confirm this uptrending or downtrending on these mid time frames and that's a key for today's live stream. You know, I used to take trades on these lower time frames. So I used to take one hour chart and took trades, for example, like five minute chart, without confirming this one hour chart trend on these mid time frames, and I get stopped out many times. 
but once I started to confirm, once I came up with the idea of confirming the trends on these mid time frames, the chance of the loss gets much much lower and also um, I can manage the risk easily, much much easier than taking trades without confirming the trends in the mid time frames. So that's why I recommend you to confirm these trends on these mid time frames. So um, yeah, yeah. So that basically I was covering uh, today's session over here. Uh, trend confirmation, either one or thirty. So once again, I use Ichimoku, and especially if you're still new to Ichimoku, I recommend you to use Kumo and Kijunsen angles. So you take Kumo, and first of all you check angle and length and thickness of the Kumo. And if they are all right, then uh, you go down to either single span B or A. And if one of these lines, either single span B or A, are upwards or downwards, then you look at the Kijun Sen. And when the Kijun Sen is also trending towards the same direction as single span B or A, then that's a confirmation. So. Let me check some other pairs and see if uh, we can confirm um, any of these higher time frame trends. So first of all, AUD, AUD, um, AUD USD. Right now, daily chart still shows up trending as we see Kumo up, and it's got the thickness to it, and Kijun Sen up, Tenkan Sen above the Kijun Sen, and the Chikou Span above the candles. So this is up trending. So although we see the retracement on daily chart. I expect the market continue to go up along the way. However, if we see one hour chart, it's going down. And also in 30, it's going down too. So until either 30 or 1 goes upwards, I would wait in this pair. So that's AUD USD. And moving on to AUD JPY, this is also trending up. We see Kumo up, Kijun Sen is up. Uh, Tenkan Sen is up and Chikou Span above the candles. So I look at the one, and in one hour chart it's downtrending. So I wait until the one hour chart goes up, and also Kumo twist upwards, and Kijun Sen goes up above the Kumo, and look for buy chance then. Or I look at the 30 minute chart, and it comes above the Kumo, breaks the Kumo upwards, and the Tenkan Sen. Uh, sorry, Senko Span AB twist bullish, and Kijun Sen comes above the Kumo and then look for the buy chance. So that's AUD JPY, and the Euro AUD daily chart, it's also downtrending, the daily chart. So, but if I look at the lower time frame one hour chart, it's flat ranging. So I wait for the market one hour chart to go down. And the Kumo should point down. I mean, Senko Span BA should go down, and Kijun Sen should also go down this way and look for the sell chance then. Or I take the 30 minute chart, and until the market goes below the Kumo, the Kumo should twist bearish, and then the Kijun Sen goes below the Kumo and look for the sell chance then. So basically, these are the confirmations of mine. So it actually stops me to jump into the market to sell in this kind of a case. Because today, the market is retracing backwards. So for me, it's not really a great chance to look for the sell chance yet. All right, USDJPY is trending upwards in 4 hour chart. All right, so let's check that one. USDJPY 4 hour chart. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Th uh, thank you, Jojo, for the information. So let me put this one as an orange so that you know uh, USDJPY uh, 4 hour chart is uptrending now. Yeah. So we see Kumo up and Kijun Sen up. So I look at the 1 hour chart. And let's see. Oh, in one hour chart, it's also trending up. So this is what I mean by the confirmation. 
Yep, and this is exactly why I look for the buyer chance. Um, so right now, the Kumo is trending up, and the Kijun Sen is also moving up. But um, let's compare this one hour chart Kumo to four, uh, three, 30 minute chart Kumo. So I look at the 30 minute chart Kumo also, and see which one of these is thicker now. So I see this uh, 30 minute chart Kumo is much much thicker than four hour, uh, the one hour chart. Right, if you can remember this shape of the Kumo in 30 minute chart, and if you look at this one hour chart Kumo, right, one hour chart is more thinner than the 30. So in this case, I take the 30 minute chart Kumo confirmation and look for the buy chance in either 5 or 15 minute time frame. Yeah, I think this was, this was a great example for this uh, trend confirmation in the mid time frame. Alright, SV says, um, I used to learn Ichimoku from YouTube where I got some knowledge on it, but your explanation um, about Ichimoku giving me very clear understanding, especially about the entry and exit timing where I, I'm not understand previously. Um, sure, thank you for the words, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually this is the way I look at the market and this is my original strategy. And this is called KTS. This is the case uh, trading strategy. And this is not the pure Ichimoku strategy as introduced on the original books. But um, yeah, it's been this has been my own strategy and it's been working for me. And that's why I have been explaining this strategy in this YouTube channel. What's the long term view on Euro USD? Euro USD, I think it's flat now. Um, so when it comes to the long term, I look at the weekly chart or the monthly chart. Let's look at the monthly chart and it's flat now. So yeah, it, it might go down in monthly chart. The Kumo's still flat, it's too young, too short, and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen below the Kumo, so the market might go down afterwards on the monthly chart. So in weekly chart, it's going up. So yeah, on the weekly chart basis, this looks to be bullish still. And on the daily chart, it's flat now, and it broke the Kijun Sen downwards. So not really good timing to look for the buy chance anymore. And just in case, touching this 4 hour chart, it's also below the Kumo here. So, oh, looks like this is a nice downtrend. I just wait for the Kijun Sen to come below the Kumo and look for the sell chance in lower time frames. Yeah, Euro USD. 4 hour chart is about to be breaking this uh, Kijun Sen to the Kumo downwards. So, when it happens, I look at either 1 or 30 and confirm this downtrend also and look for the sell chance on either 5 or 15 minute time frame. So, make sure you see the Kijun Sen outside of the Kumo. Right? When you see Kijun Sen in the Kumo here, like this, um, the market still might retrace backwards. And also in 4 hour chart, Kumo is relatively thin and short. So that, that also means the market might reverse backwards along the way. Make sure you have the thick Kumo and long Kumo, and Kijun Sen outside of the Kumo is important. Chikou span is okay in this case. Chikou span is below the Kumo, below the candles, so this is okay. So let's see if we have a um, recent low, and it looks like we have a recent low of this level. Uh, hold on, let me put this uh, horizontal line. At this uh, 1.2132 area, um, there are a couple of supports on this price level. So the market is reaching towards that level and it might retrace backwards. 
because we see Kumo thin and Kijun sen is still in the Kumo here. So I won't wait for, I won't uh, look for the sell chance in this case. Yeah, that's my view on this Euro USD. Okay, so I guess um, I will be ending the live stream for now. So thank you for joining everyone. It was very nice to see you again. So once again tomorrow, um, I was going to talk about my strategy. Tomorrow usually um, I record a video and upload every Tuesdays. Um, and I was gonna talk about the essence of Kumo. But uh, tomorrow is my birthday. 12th of January is my birthday. And also, I would like to celebrate over 22k subscribers. So instead of um, recording video upload, I decided to do the special live stream. So I think you can see this uh, reminder already. So it's gonna start at, at 8 p.m. Japan time. And I think it's going to be for about um, four hours, five hours. It's gonna be a long, super long live stream tomorrow. So you'd have to be there for a long time, the whole time. Uh, I would just keep talking about my analysis of, of uh, the market. And also I'm thinking to talk about my trade on the 2020. I will review my trades last year and I will look back my trades. And also I'm thinking about thinking to talk about the Ichimoku community and also GTS. And then towards the end I'm also talk about the um, the analysis again. And there will be some free talks, free talk sessions. So when you happen to see me on this long live stream, please feel free feel free to join, say hi on the chat, and uh, yeah, I'll see you there. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay gold. All right, so thank you for joining everyone. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.